Hi folks, this is Rose from In Rose's Garden and today we're going to work on a really simple pair of earrings using our Softlex Design Challenge Kit Cherry Blossom. These are going to be really pretty I think. So I hope you enjoy making them with me. Let's turn down and see what we can do. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the, of course we have the ear wires for the top and then I've got a couple of um, I had bit eye pins, which we're going to then hook this pretty little flower to the bottom of here. And then we're going to go up and make this be a sort of weird little flower by using a rondelle, then a spacer, then this little guy, and a couple of spacers, and then this pink fellow, a couple more spacers the big flower here, and a spacer, and this little um, miracle bead. Now, we should have that more or less split out now because everything else goes to the other earring. So there we go. Now, um, we're just going to start by opening the eye here by just giving it a slight twisting motion. Sliding that on and then twisting it back. And there is that particular uh, flower on its wire. Now I noticed it's a little bit sideways here. It's not quite straight to the wire, so we're going to get it straight to the wire there. And then we'll start feeding on our beads, which is going to be the white, then a spacer, then this little pink piece. See how that lets keeps the pink up a little bit uh, from the... Um, bead cap for uh, the lucite flower. Now if we don't if you don't like that you can always just drop that right down onto the lucite flower just like so. But I tend to like a spacer so then two more of these the pink porcelain two more and our bigger bead cap, flower cap. Then we'll have one more little spacer and our miracle bead. And there is what our earring is going to look like. Just like so. And I am going to put together the other one and then we'll wind them up. <laughs> so we do that exactly the same way. We're going to straighten this wire up a little bit. It's a tiny bit crooked. And we'll open her up and put on our little flower charm here. These are pretty charms. I think just about everything on th in on the earring here, other than um, the the eye pin and the um, ear wires, actually came out of the Jesse James beads bead pack. Okay, there is the second one all wound up. Now we just need to hook the ear wires on. Now to hook the ear wires on, what we're going to do, what we need to do is we need our loop to go this way. 
rather than this way because the ear wire needs to go hold into that circular part and we want it to look forward so around like so so sorry bumped the camera um so we'll bend this forward nope we want to bend it sideways to this other one we look this down and then we take it and bend it this direction again with this one exact same thing have that facing downwards and bend it over here now a lot of people want to use your round pliers here and that is perfectly acceptable i use a step to bell making plier put the bigger one of the two small ones here wrap it around the little one go up and around drop it down bring it over and then straighten it because it will want to go it will be leaning to one side inevitably so this is leaning backwards some on me so we'll straighten that up and this is not straight see how this is a weird oval so we're going to put our back inside here and then we're going to yank it up tighter and there you go she's fine now so now we're going to feed our ear wire on and because this has a distinctive front and back we want to feed it facing backwards because as it comes around in our loop it will turn itself back to the front see how that is so now what that we've got that on grab our loop with our pliers push it back together and now here's an option place again you can either use your pliers to wrap it or you can wrap it by hand I tend to generally use it my pliers unless it's unless it's a really pliable uh, wire that we're using and then I will use my um, just wind it with the wire itself so there we go so now that we've got that all done we will clip this extra bit of wire off and tuck it in hopefully I'm not going off camera too much for you guys I am using a new tripod because I'm traveling so I um, have to get used to doing that so there is our earring all finished let's see if we need to straighten anything it's looking pretty good actually so there is the first one done and let's do the second one so we grab hold of our where we bent it take our bell making pliers put it into two, this the bend here with the larger one at the bottom smaller at top bend it around drop it bring it over to this side now see it's how it's sort of tipped come on focus baby it's how it's tipped to one side a little bit this is where you want to straighten it up so there we go now we will feed our ear wire on backwards and up and on so now we just have to grab it right here where it's together and wind it up. So this will come around. And wrap up here. Oops, it wants to slide down. So we're going to get in here like this and we're going to push it up then tighten her up and bring her around now we'll cut that excess off right here and tighten that little 
little bit left. Tuck it in. And let's see how we did. Okay, that looks pretty straight. Looks like it's good. No, it's fine. There we go. There are our earrings. It was cute. Sorry about these shadows. I'm like I said, working with a new tripod. We're on. I'm on the road. I'm just coming home from visiting my sister in Arizona, and uh, between the between the natural sunlight and my tripod, it's giving me a little bit of a shadow here. But I think we can see all right still. Anyway, there are our finished earrings. Aren't those cute? So anyway, there are our finished little earrings. Those cute. Using our Softlex Company's Cherry Blossom Design Kit. I think they turned out really cute. And I hope you liked making those with me. As I said, really simple, very easy, but very cute a pair of earrings. This has been Rose from In Rose's Garden, and we have been using the Softlex Company's Cherry Blossom Design Challenge Kit. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.